many of if I have sent words to Olerim Miriam, his wife. <laughs> so allegedly, what we heard, Miriam, after all this why that she has been telling the only, give me what's mine, give me what belongs to me. Miriam went ahead because, you know, Miriam used to handle on his business and control some things for him. So Miriam went ahead to, to you know, embezzle some funds due to some of the connection and one or two things she still knows about those operations and the account and everything. As Miriam took money and now the only is saying return the money. <laughs> This one, you know, they turned into fight though because Olivia Miriam has asked for, for her, should I call it relief funds, since the only is not having any single thing to do with her again, since the only is not having her watch over his business again, since it's more like it has become day your day, I day my day. She has been requesting for funds. She has been, you know, requesting for a whole lot of things. And, and, with every single thing happening, we are not sure if the only would take it lightly with her. Yes, yes, we are not sure if the only would take it lightly with her. Because in the midst of this whole thing, we all know that Olivia Miriam has no right to do whatsoever it is that she has done. And if the only takes this case and reports it legally, Miriam will be prosecuted for these things. Yes, because these are the things that the Nigerian government are fighting. They are calling it cybercrime and the rest. Because how Miriam gained access into that account is what nobody knows till now. Yes, what Miriam gained access to that account is what till now nobody knows. So the question on ground is how did she gain access to the account? And then secondly, how was she able to move money? And the only did not even know. Like it took long before the only got to know that Miriam had moved money and all of those things. So the cocoa on ground right now is Olivia Miriam has drawn a battle line. Yes, she has actually drawn a battle line. And bad as this whole matter take be, yes, bad as this whole matter is, we all know and we all understand how these things work. If they only decide to report this woman, we know how the whole case will go down. Just of recent, we heard how one business guru was arrested because of all of these things. But you see, these women, they do things because they know no matter how the whole situation goes, only got me. He will not let any single thing happen to me. He will not let something bad come my way. He will not even let anything like be um, come close to them. So the whole matter will just remain like that. But you see, as it is right now, we don't even know what to say. Because only had businesses to Lori, Miriam. Yes, it's true. There was a time that everybody was like, ah, why won't you know they feel divorce this woman? Make she go now. A while I don't too much. But at a very long run, some persons even came to understand that they only cannot even divorce Miriam. Reasons being that they have business involvement and then most of the clients that come in for business, they are being given by Miriam. So if they only decide that go, then what happens to all those business? What happens to all those clients that Miriam brings? What happens to all the growth that Miriam speaks into the business. So it became quite impossible for Miriam to leave during that time. But you see this time, it seems like only tried taking control of all his businesses from her before he started this particular divorce of a thing again. Because from what we know and from what we have seen over time, it was so impossible for him the last time. So we know very well that if he's going to do it once again, then he will do it the right way. And he tried taking control of his business in one way or the other in one way or the other and as the whole matter is on ground right now my people what will miriam do because the only knows well it's his account there is no way that he will know the exact amount that was taken from the account and you know as the whole matter be now he doesn't want to involve the efcc he doesn't want to involve uh, in banks or any single thing he wants to sort out the issue with miriam by miriam returning the money to him but will miriam return that money that part we are not sure if Miriam would even dream of returning that money because we know Miriam to be someone who is very authoritative and she loves controlling things and at the same time she loves like the boss should be in her court where she pleases it yeah that's the kind of person Miriam is and when things doesn't go as it is supposed to be that's where she gets angry yes when you know she has already envisioned every single thing she has calculated her stuff and then boom things are not going the way she plans it or things are not turning out 
exactly the way she wants it uh -huh. miriam gets angry and she would really really get furious at the state of things but as it is right now no we don't even know which one is which yes we don't know which one is which and we don't know exactly what to hold on to as it is right now because no matter how these things get no matter how these things become we all know that what Miriam did is wrong. Yes, we categorically know that what Miriam did is wrong. And if we are to judge from fact and say the truth, Olivia Miriam, what she did is so, so wrong. But why did she do it? Because she feels only is my husband. And no matter how bad these things get, I have the right to his. You know, because they were invited to the party they went to fight simply because well, they are still married to him. So no matter how they do this stuff and they say that, then you are this, this, this. But there is still a room that needs to be recognized as these women are what? Still married to this man. And no matter how bad it gets, no matter how bad you think this thing will get, Olivia and Miriam will still find her way around it. So the thing now is, the only have raised an alarm for her to return the money, the money she stole. Yes, only said, you stole the money. And he has raised an alarm for her to return it. And as the whole matter is on ground right now, it's left for her to return the money to the only. But the big question is, will she even return the money? Yes, because <laughs> Olivia and Miriam that we know, Miriam return money to only her bow. <laughs> So we don't know, but let's see how the whole matter plays out. Let's see how every single thing plays out. Because speaking from the truth, or should we say judging from the truth, these two people, it's long overdue for them to sit and talk. It is long overdue for them to discuss. It is long overdue for them to, to look at things. It is long, long overdue for them to have whatsoever conversation it is that has been pending. So if so be it that this money that Miriam has taken becomes a room for she and the only to have a conversation then fine if so be it that this money becomes the the, the point to which uh, miriam and the only um, resolve their common differences and you know be on the same page then so be it but as it is right now no the only is not happy the man is seriously not happy he's telling miriam return my money return my money He's saying it over and over again that return my money, return my money. So we don't know how much Miriam has taken because the only have not said it. We don't know how much Miriam has taken. But if Miriam had the that leverage to take money from Oni's account, then we all should know that Miriam would not take a small amount from the account. That one is certain. Miriam would take an amount that will move the only to come after her. Miriam would take an amount that would, you know, prompt the only to definitely want to get his money back so no matter how bad you think this whole situation is definitely will know how bad it is as time goes on